Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, so you know exactly what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to make this Deadpool mask using only EVA foam. Now before we get started, go ahead and click that like button if you want to see more tutorials like this. Before you start building the mask, you'll want to download the template which you can find in the description below. And now, for the first time ever, I'll be partnering with my good friend Austin who will be selling fully built Deadpool masks using my template. Plus, they will have removable 3D printed eyes, which in the future will be interchangeable for different expressions. Super cool and super exciting, so make sure to check that out as well. And now, let's get on with the tutorial. As you can see here, this is one half of the template, and what we're going to do is transfer it over to EVA foam. Here you can see I'm just laying out those pieces as best I can to save as much material as I can. Now I take a silver sharpie and trace out all of the pieces just like this. And now that you have all of those pieces traced out, you can take an X-Acto knife and start cutting out all of the pieces. Now you can go ahead and just cut out the rest of those pieces, making sure to get nice clean cuts. Here you can see I'm angling my X-Acto knife to get a nice beveled cut, and the template will show which cuts need to be beveled. And here is one half of the template fully cut out. Now we can just mirror everything and cut out the other half of the template to get all the pieces that should look like this. This next step will involve heating up all of our pieces with a heat gun just like this. As you can see, once the color starts to change on that foam, that's when you know it's sealed and really you don't want to go any longer than that or else you'll start burning the foam. Now for some of the pieces, we're going to start forming it with our hands just like this. This piece specifically, we're going to add in this little fold and you'll see why that's important later on. So now I'm just going to continue heating up all the pieces and forming it. I use a cup that has a round top just like this to get a nice round dome shape. And you'll end up getting a nice curved piece just like this, which is especially important for pieces near the head. Here is half of the mouthpiece, and this is going to be important to get a really nice bend and curve to it just like this. These curves are really going to matter when you take the other half and start gluing it together. So now that we have all of our parts heat sealed and one second, I have to get that. Sorry about that, that was just my HelloFresh order being delivered, which if you haven't tried HelloFresh yet, this is your sign to do it now. I personally have never been the best chef, but HelloFresh has given me the ability to cook some of the most delicious meals I've ever made. They send you pre-portioned packages with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes right to your doorstep. Whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Plus, you can start your day right this year with free breakfast for life. That is right, while your subscription is active, you can get one free breakfast item per box. If you're like me and spend long hours in the workshop, or maybe you have other things tying up your day, you're probably finding quick and easy meal solutions. And guess what? HelloFresh is the answer. And with over 45 dinner options, you will 100% find a meal that you love. Like I said, I'm not the best chef in the world, but look at me go. I mean, look at that smile. That is a guy that is enjoying himself. All I had to do was choose my recipes and a delivery date, and HelloFresh handles all of the meal planning and shopping. And luckily, you can do the same. Click the link in the description or use my code and get free breakfast for life. That's one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. Now is the time to try HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Okay, I know you're all hungry now, but we still have a Deadpool mask to build. So we are going to start working on these eye pieces and as you can see there's a bit of an edge right here and you can get that in one of two ways. One you can fold it just like I'm showing here and the second way would be to flip it over and cut out kind of a v-shaped slit and you can kind of peel it back and pull out this piece of foam right in the middle right there. And what that will do it'll give you a nice opening where you can fold it and have a nice sharp edge. And now we can take our contact cement, which I just used some of this Weldwood contact cement, and we're going to brush it on to all of the seams that we want to join together on both sides of the seam that we're joining. So here I'm just putting it on both eye pieces. And once those pieces have glued to be a little bit tacky, we can start joining them together, starting with these eyelids. This is just one piece, but we're going to have one seam right there. 
And now we can join that into the larger eyepiece just like this. And we're going to do that to both sides and we'll end up with two eyes just like this. So now we can work on the rest of the face. Here are the cheek pieces and mouthpiece. So now I'm just going to add in some more contact cement on all the seams. And we're going to start off by gluing this chin part on one half of the mouth. Do that to the other side. And once that's both done, you can start gluing those two pieces together right along the middle. And this is why I said earlier it's important to have a nice dome and curved shape which will make gluing here a lot easier and a lot smoother. So now we can start gluing our eye pieces right to this nose slash mouth piece. And this part is some of the easiest glue seams I've ever worked on in a helmet so you guys should have a pretty simple time doing it as well. Now we can add the cheek pieces and that just goes right along the mouth and then right up the eye. Do that to both sides. And now you can see the mask is really starting to come together. So continuing on, we're going to work on the sides of the head and these are just going to be two large panels here. And this is going to be a super simple seam to put together. You have nice long open edges just like this. And then we're going to do it to both sides as usual. And if you're building along, you should have something that looks like this. So now we're going to keep going and we're going to work on the top of the head. So this is just made up of two pieces that we're going to glue right down the middle. And then now these are the two back pieces and we're just going to glue that right down the middle as well. So now we can put in this top piece right in between the eyes and that should fit nicely right in between there and we can continue that seam all the way towards the back. And now we can grab this back panel and this back panel is just going to glue straight into that opening right here. And this is why I said earlier in the video that it's important to get that folded piece towards the top of those back panels because it really adds to that loose tip that you see on the back of Deadpool's mask. And here is what the helmet should look like when all of your foam work is done. And here is a quick test fit and everything fits perfectly here so I am super happy with it. And now we're going to add some detailing on the mask. Here I take my X-Acto knife and I start scoring in some lines right around the eyes. And once the details around the eyes are complete, you can start adding in those scored lines along the seams of the mouth as well as the seams along the top of the head. And as usual, we take a heat gun and we run it along all of those scored lines and it helps that to open up and really make those details pop. And here you can see Deadpool is starting to look really good. Now we're gonna start adding the paint. So I use some of this cardinal red acrylic paint. After I brushed it on, I noticed it was a bit too light of a color for me. So what I did was I got some of this black acrylic paint and I mixed it in. And this process ended up being super difficult and a bunch of trial and error. This color right here ended up being too dark. So I added in some more red. I added in a different kind of red and ended up with a color that I thought finally looked good so I brushed it on to the rest of the helmet. So now here's the paint as it's drying. As you can see it's a nice darker red shade that I was really happy with. And now we're going to start painting in the black on the eyes just to give it a solid black color. So all I did was take some of this black acrylic paint and carefully brush it on along the edges and along the rest of the eye. And as usual, I just use a nice foam brush as it doesn't leave a lot of streaks like a typical bristled brush would. And once the paint is dried, this is what I ended up with. So to finish off the mask here, I'm just going to use this clear coat, which is basically a matte clear spray. And we're just going to spray this onto the entire helmet. And this acts as a protective coat, but it also gives the mask a final sheen to it that you really wouldn't get otherwise. Now the final step for making this mask is adding in the white lenses for the eyes. And again, just like my Wolverine helmet, all I did was take some white plastic mesh and tape it on the inside. This is kind of a temporary solution. I've been using this white mesh for all of my other projects and it works great. But for Deadpool, I don't want to see those holes in the eyes. I want it to be a really flat, solid white. So I'm going to keep working to find a better solution, but this works great for now. And that is how you make a Deadpool mask.
Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Consider hitting that subscribe button for more projects like this and some new fresh content coming very soon. Huge thanks to HelloFresh. Make sure to click that link in the description. And as always, thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.